So I tried on this iPad thingy, so please let me know if there is any sound. Do, 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 do. Waiting for it. Hi guys, can you hear me now? Or is there still no sound? Awesome, yes, great. So I guess I broke my phone or something. Uh, yeah, but anyways, this works. So this far, so good. <laughs> great, well, hi guys. And uh, welcome. <laughs> We just returned from Romania a couple of days ago and that was uh, that was quite a trip. <laughs> Many things happened and um, I'm really, really, really thankful for meeting the people there. And uh, yes, we got sounds on. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really thankful for meeting the people. It's it's open-hearted and they are so natural in a farm and um, yeah it really made me feel grateful also to feel how close they were to nature and I know there's a lot of farmers <laughs> but I really loved it and um, it reminds me of how important it is for us to be connected not only to ourselves but to everything, you know, to the nature, to even to the food we eat. I just... Um, I just find it so important that we are conscious about that everything is one. You know, that we all are together in this and how amazingly beautiful it is when we stand together in exactly that. It doesn't matter where are we from, which country, which species, if you are alien and <laughs> born of the Pleiades and the other one is for Sirius, you know, it's, it's all about the heart and it's all about being together and trust each other, trust ourselves. I really loved it. We picked up uh, three small boys or Actually, I was running up the mountain. The other one picked the small boys up. And they're just in faith. They're not afraid that somebody's going to kidnap them. or It's just oneness, you know. And that kind of trust, that kind of honesty. It's really beautiful and it's really amazing. And I appreciate it so much. I truly wish that we could uh, take it in and integrate it all over the world step by step so welcome guys and I promise to uh, talk about the pyramids this evening if you at any point have any questions towards uh, the pyramids <laughs> or the mountains or anything in this uh, category just uh, type it and I will uh, look into it Awesome. So, are there pyramids in Romania? Yes and no. It's a matter of how you define pyramids. If you are searching for pyramids in the same structure, in the same form as you see them in Giza, my answer will be no. Then there's no pyramids. <laughs> but if you understand the value of a pyramid and the pyramid shape, the pyramid energetic form, and the tunnels within the pyramids and what it was actually used for, my answer is a definite yes. We have all these pyramids located all over the planet. It's used for energetic uh, transformation. It's used as portals, portals in our own world reality, as far as I know also out of this world reality. But the beautiful part of it is <laughs> and I really love this. I, it's The creators were so awesome. So these portals are all about vibrations. We can put it into sound. The, the sound of Om. The sound of your heart. So <laughs> if you want to enter 
you have to be in the vibrationally match of a bliss like your heart connection so if you want to enter you have to do it from a pure heart and not from an ego perspective um, I think that is the most genius plan ever made um. <laughs> um, yeah so what am I actually talking about are you guys following me this far Yes. Hi. <laughs> so, um, for example, for example, in Romania, we have uh, located more than one pyramid. I was on one of them, and from there, I saw three others. It can be slightly complicated, and yet it's very simple. So, if we, okay, I will make it simple. <laughs> if we see everything as energy. If we see everything as electrons and neutrons and vibrations, right? So we got the Earth. We today we play it's round. Somebody means it flat. It doesn't matter. So we got the Earth, and for the energy patterns to circulate around the globe, we have built constructions that are capable of allowing the flow to be in balance. Um, pyramids was a part of that. So before things were human made, we had this kind of system going on on the planet. Um, so it transmit and transform energy. It transform it so we can use it as growth for our planet. Also, so they could use it as portals from one location to watch another. We were not capable of flying. <laughs> So this kind of makes sense and also do answer some of these questions of which we were never able to answer. For example, the Bermuda Triangle um, places around the globe, people disappearing. It is because our world is created of illusions, it's created of uh, dimensions and patterns laying on top of each other and we are in three dimensional form. So we're not capable of going from this into the other, but if you enter this field with a vibration that's a vibrationally matched to the three-dimensional form you have, so you can enter that, you are capable from going from one dimension to watch another. Yeah, so that was kind of mixing two things together. So <laughs> a part of these portals, pyramids, places have this function. The main function uh, it's the energetic flow. The main function and the main reason why they all are coming to life now. It's not only for us to understand that we have aliens, but it's really truly to understand the true value of being in our hearts. It's to understand the true power of being in our hearts. Ego was meant for development in a certain amount of time, but ego... <laughs> also tears us apart. Ego makes us forget that it's all about being together. It makes us forget it's all about being one. It actually takes the beauty out of this whole creation because ego, then you just are you. Being in your heart, you realize you are everything. You realize that we all are one. And um, that is the true lessons. <laughs> Not only in the world as we see it now, but also in every reflection around us. Um, right now, uh, right now I'm in Holland. I just arrived two days ago. Uh, we're in Romania. This was where we were looking at the pyramids. Um, yeah. Is there energy like Mount Shatterers in California? Is it energies like Mount Shatan? I'm so great in reading. Shatan in California. Wait a second. Yes, so it, it vibrates in a different form than it does in those mountains. You are uh, Mount Shatterers you're talking about. Um, 
because the, the place you are talking about is very very powerful and if you enter it, it, it nearly takes your breath away if, when you enter the fields within Romania it's more settled down and it's more vibrating in an easy form so yes it's the same energy it's the same uh, concepts and principles but the vibration they send out in this now are not the same um, at some point they will all be aligned <laughs> I promise any other questions another thing I believe is important to tell is um, as we now become more and more conscious about uh, <laughs> vibrations, different species, as people would put it, Illuminati, all these conspir uh, conspiracies, theories. Oh man, I can't pronounce it. You guys know what I mean. Um, <laughs> they they arise with a certain amount of fear, and when you have when you link to fear you are um, a vibrationally matched to attract these kind of things and it have the ability to get to you in one form or another. When you are conscious about its existence, like for example, we know the chemtrails and, and we can see them flying around, but when you are in your heart, when you raise your vibration into trust, into being, into oneness, you are not a vibrationally matched to these uh, radiations and stuff falling from the sky it will go inside of you you will breathe it in <laughs> like everyone else but the um, the molecules are not capable of linking to what's your system inside so the most important thing in this time of awakenings is let's not be ignorant to any information whatsoever Let's be in a state of open heart and allow ourselves to, to open our consciousness, to open our belief systems, but always, always return to the center of our hearts. Always <laughs> increase that happy feeling inside of you. No matter what you go through, if it's, um, it's emotionally patterns from your past or it's Illuminati trying to attack you or whatever <laughs> no matter which reaction you have allow the reaction let the emotion run through your system let the fear run through your system and go back to that in the silence in the love within yourself go back to that state where you feel peace inside of your heart then nothing which is unreal can touch the only thing which is real and that's your heart uh, so any own folk there like la pretu la pic like what la pic do you feel any folk there so Cecilina, i don't know that long word what that means but i did see old people and i was so lost in the forest so i was singing for them actually <laughs> do you say that we should stay natural neutral <laughs> what i say is that we should be in allowance of um seeing perceiving what's going on we should not be ignorant but we should allow ourselves to be in the highest vibration that we can like to be in the vibration that we belong to so we don't lower ourselves if we go in resistance everything will persist so if you want to fight it <laughs> you are basically fighting yourself if you embrace it it disappears what is truly to fear in this world is made a uh, how do I explain this? Everything is an illusion. Every single particle which is made or created in this world reality was created 
in order of expansion and experience life within um, duality. So every single particle has a meaning. Every single particle go one way or another is a part of you. Yeah. So if you embrace it all, not have resistance on it, saying Lucifer, go away, but love him. Love him. Love him like you wanted to marry him. Love the reptiles like you wanted to marry them. Oh, you're so cute. Yes, you are. You're a cute little reptile. <laughs> then <laughs> I'm a little bit over, uh, but you know what I mean. Then what you're sending out is pure love. What you're sending out is a vibration so high that whatever vibration they want to attack you at, they cannot link to your system. So you can see it. It's right there in front of you. It's a part of this illusion. But you're no longer a vibrationally matched to what's attracting you. And as we are learning our brothers and sisters to stay together in this vibration, as we are learning our brothers and sisters to stay in trust and faith, um, we will all become less and less a vibrationally matched to what's these situations. Too much world disasters and um, <laughs> all these wars and uh, <laughs> and stuff like that so it, it is really so fundamental and basic start cleaning up yourself start cleaning up your emotional system finding that space within you where you feel love feel love to yourself and then Learn to see the love within everybody else. It doesn't matter if it's the guy who killed somebody on the street or if it's the raper, raper person <laughs> or if it's the kitty. It doesn't matter. We are all one. And if you can see that little bit of soul within everyone and love that, you can help them to see that love within themselves. That is exactly what they need to set themselves free. That's exactly what we need to set ourselves free all together. Thanks, Dad. That is what I learned, but still slept in the wrong energies. Cleaning their... Oh, poof! <laughs> Took a while to accept the reptiles. Yeah, I can understand that. Um, also because, especially... For me, I, I connect with people, um, everything on the vibration of feelings and reptiles way of feeling <laughs> is, is very, very different <laughs> from the way of feeling when you are in your heart. So the connecting part was not really happening with the reptiles. But what I learned um, after uh, after their attack, they uh, attacked me and um, <laughs> What I learned was it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they are, where they are not. What matters is where I am, and what matters is what I send out. So, in this attack going on, I was just looking these reptiles in the eyes, and I was just seriously, <laughs> I was literally trying to make it fall in love with me. <laughs> it was just loving the crap out of it <laughs> and it worked because it set me free to love others is also to love yourself if you do it from your heart and uh, it wasn't capable of pointing me what came in my system went right through and the next day i was completely clean again so i'm, I'm so grateful for that experience but it definitely has been sometimes uh, Harder to learn than others. <laughs> this uh, or something big happening on Earth right now with the energy fields because I'm feeling like in reaching a higher frequency, like I'm getting more aware and asking questions about mine and everybody's existence. So since 2012, of course sooner, but that was the boom. Uh, the vibrations have been rising. A lot is going on in the world as we speak. And have done since 2012 and uh, what was meant to happen there are happening now so therefore it's a bit crazy for what i call the second wave where you nana is one of these guys 
Um, so your vibration are definitely racing as we are capable of entering these higher vibrational fields because they now are available on our planet. And as people become more and more conscious, also, let's call it the other side, who wants to bring us more in fear. So there is so much confusion. And the, the first part when you wake up, there is so many ways, there's so many um, worlds to enter. There's so many things to become conscious about and so many perspectives you all of a sudden have opening up and people are so confused. And in this confusion, what we see a lot is that people lose completely groundation within who they are. They lose groundation within what is true within their heart and they need to settle down in the new self. It's like you had this self and then you break it up in particle and then it have to settle down in a new self. Um, so that is basically what is happening to a lot of uh, new awakening people at the moment. And um, as we know, fear is still on our planet and it will stay here. Fear is awesome. It's awesome when we use it in the right form. Just don't let it control you. <laughs> if you don't like watching the news, switch it off. If you get afraid of looking in the newspaper, let it go. Listening to your heart, listening to what you see when you step out of the door. What do you meet on the street? Are everybody shooting at each other? Are they all looking evil at you when you're smiling at them? Or are people actually friendly? Are they hugging each other? Are they showing capacity, friendliness, open hearts? In a world full of control systems. Um, I cannot say it enough. The most important thing is to listen to your heart. When you talk with people, look them deep in the eyes and feel how does whatever this person say, how does it feel within me? Does it bring fear? Or does it make me feel safe <laughs> and opening up? The world is so real when we are here, but on a higher level talk, is illusion of our own creation and we are in it together so guys what do you say should we create an awesome life a life where we actually remember that we truly want to be here <laughs> as my brother john says every moment is perfect even when it sucks it's perfect because it's a part of life we are so lucky that we have all these senses and i always say that but it's it's so amazing <laughs> when when you are not conscious about you have a body and you all of a sudden experience how it is to be inside of this thing imagine imagine just how much you can feel with your fingers or when you choose that you want to eat food that feeling that sensation of becoming one with this piece of gold or apple it's amazing when you when you meet a person and you have all these emotionally craziness reaction going on inside of you you don't do this other places you don't have this in other dimensions it's something so special because it belongs to the planet earth and it belongs to the system of the heart so even that we feel screwed up fucked up sometimes with all this emotional chaos slightly <laughs> it is amazing and it is a gift it's truly a gift and as more and more we learn to embrace it as less we start attributing it as a bad thing fear awesome anger great workout <laughs> doubt great because then i can improve myself when i found out what i truly want love amazing so, yeah, <laughs> now my little talk about pyramids took a slight turn, as usually. Um, but this was, this was what I mainly wanted to share with you guys today. And yeah, I'll just take a moment um, to say thank you.
thank you all for all that you are, for all that you do, <laughs> for all the love and the chaos and all everything you bring to this world. Thank you. I love you. It's awesome. And remember, even when you want to push people away, find out why. Embrace it. We are all one. And I said it a billion of times and sometimes we don't understand it because it's not that we have to be the same. Please don't be like me. Oh my God, this world would be so crazy. <laughs> but be you with all that you are, with all your flaws, like we say, with all your weird habits until you want to change into other habits. <laughs> with your crazy laugh, if you have a crazy laugh, with all that you are, embrace it, rock it, be it, please, thank you, and I will do exactly the same. So when we do that, we together become one. This world was created for us to be different, so different. Because when we are different and love each other for that differentness, we together are one union. So, yeah, a big thanks to you guys and I love you and <laughs> I'll talk with you very soon. Um, yeah, I guess that was it. Okay, doo -doo. see this one, I don't know where the button is. Mm. <laughs> oh, here it is. <laughs>